Hi, I'm Cynthia Schiller. Please like and subscribe where we help and heal one day at a time. We're going to talk about the oddities of a narcissist. A lot of times they will put police reports on us uh, to kind of control us. Um, my degree is in criminal justice. I've taught uh, criminal law uh, at the university level. Um, so when people get per uh, personal restraining orders put against them, um, often it does not change their mindset. They will continue to stalk or harass. Um, so that piece of paper, um, doesn't change the heart of the criminal or the stalker. Um, they still uh, have that going on inside them. Often that'll cause extra frustrations within them. So that piece of paper that's meant to protect you uh, can cause kind of like a rage going on inside that criminal um, to where uh, they want to break free or they don't want to be told what to do. Um, they feel entitled that they should just live their life. If they want to contact you, they should they feel that they should be able to. So personal protection orders, uh, the narcissist will put those on us to control the situation when they feel that they've lost control or to hurt us um, because they've been hurt in some way. Uh, the narcissistic injury a lot of times it's reactive on our part uh, but they get hurt uh, or they mistake things uh, and then they get angry uh, so they got to get rid of that anger so they try to control us but the point i'm making is uh, when the narcissist gets married um often that piece of paper uh, they feel uh, it's kind of like the security like uh, they've secured their supply they have a life partner that's going to kind of serve their needs, always be there to adore them, to make things easier, uh, to serve uh, them if they're sick, to take care of their needs. Um, they don't look past what they have to really sacrifice because they get caught up in the love bombing moment too. Uh, nothing really seems to be going wrong. Um, I got hair tickling me. Um, but the piece of paper does not change their heart, just like those criminals with the personal protection orders. It doesn't change that person's heart. So the narcissist is going to get uh, more um, grandiose, I guess, or, or feel more entitled to the person. Like, I got that piece of paper proving you're mine. Just like uh, the receipts that we get at the store, like, hey, no, I bought it. I bought it. It's mine. Uh, we're well, not insecure. You can walk out of the store because you got that piece of paper. So the narcissist is like, I got that piece of paper. This is mine. Um, so they're going to get more jealous. They're going to get more uh, demanding. They're going to feel more entitled. And uh, within their heart, um, now that they had this uh, stronger sense of entitlement, they're going to expect more because they feel they went above and beyond. They made that sacrifice. Uh, just like when you make a purchase, you make a sacrifice giving away money. Well, they gave up uh, their, their freedom to go cheat or their freedom to do whatever. Um, but that starts eating away at them too. Like, uh, you know, uh, if you put on weight or have a baby or um, aren't available because you're working extra hours because you have a roof leak, you're trying to take care of the family and fix the roof. Uh, you're not trying to neglect them, but some things have to happen in life to, to survive. So the narcissist is going to get angry at all that stuff. Um, their heart uh, can often become unsettled once they get married. Usually you would think it's like, we did it. We did it. We're together forever. And uh, let's start this journey and, and life's going to be beautiful. But they're like, crap, what did I get into? It's uh, not all about me. Uh, and it should be is what they feel. Um, so narcissists will often self-sabotage things. Um, that's what I went through with my last two exes. Every time things were good, uh, they fell apart. Uh, it's a cycle that you can almost predict. Um, so now that uh, they're in, uh, we didn't get to the marriage. We got to the proposal. I even sent out wedding invitations three weeks before the wedding. But if they cross over um, and get married, um, they're, they're going to start to feel trapped. They're going to start to regret their decision, not because of the person. It's not about the person. Um, so don't look, is this person better than I was? The new supplier, are they better? Are they better looking? Uh, it has nothing to do with that person. Nothing. Um, that person might be a little better. They might be a little worse. They might be right on par. They're a different person. It doesn't matter. The narcissist is concerned about themselves. So they're going to put down that new supply uh, 
because of how we talk about the mirroring, how we start up here, they're mirroring us because they adore something about us or they're jealous about what we have or they're uh, intrigued by it. Um, but then uh, if anything goes wrong, they see us as lower. So they come down lower and it starts just uh, this terrible cycle, which is like, geez, okay, I already said, I'm sorry, you should be up here again. But they're like, no, I'm going to resent it. Or you did something wrong. So then they punish us, which knocks us down. And it just brings uh, the relationship down. They don't know how to bring it back up. If they ever do with the fake, sorry, I got computer stuff going on, uh, with the fake love bombing, the breadcrumbing, um, they, they still have that going on inside them that they have to knock down to feel better. So every time we get back up with the love bombing or the breadcrumbing, they're so miserable, they knock us down. And it's a vicious cycle. If you notice how many times you guys got back together and broke up and got back together or broke up, or if you were married, how many times, all right, let's work it out. Let's uh, go to counseling. Let's do this. Let's do that. We keep thinking that things are going to get better um, because of the love bombing and breadcrumbing. But like I said, they're still that same person that it's always going to come down. So they're going to do that with the new supply. Their heart hasn't changed, just like the criminal's heart doesn't change. Uh, their desire uh, to act out, uh, to control their own life, um, is sometimes heightened by that piece of paper. Uh, so nar narcissists will be more entitled in their mind uh, because they, they feel an ownership over, over us. Not like... Um, not feeling that, uh, I don't know, it's, it's, it's hard to describe it. It's like, in a sense, they feel lucky to be with us. But I had made that one comment in another video where I said, um, I told my ex, the second ex, where I was like, you love that I love you. And um, it's not them looking at us, the new supply, whatever is like, I'm so lucky to have somebody so beautiful to love. Like that person is wonderful. I'm talking about beautiful, beautiful at heart. Um, they feel lucky that, you know, uh, they have somebody helping them. They feel lucky that uh, they're looked up to. Uh, they're, they're not looking at um, the person. They're looking at uh, the things the person does for them. Um, you know, they don't look at like, they're really trying to work this out. Like they must really love me. They are trying. They, they look at it like they're entitled to it. If we don't do it exactly as they expected, um, they're ticked off with us. And once they get ticked off at us, uh, there goes that vicious cycle again. Um, you're never going to win just like the new supply. They're not going to win because even uh, if they are, uh, I wouldn't even say, you know, when we say, is this person better? Uh, people are just different. You know, there are some crappy people out there that uh, have gone through things. There are some people who don't act the right way, but, um, you know, everybody has good and bad to them. Um, and uh, I just want to be real. You see all these uh, YouTubers where they're like, uh, you were um, the best supply that the narcissist ever had. Um, it's just, a, a, a different Barbie doll. This one has brown hair. This Barbie doll has red hair. This Barbie doll is light skin. This one's dark skinned. They're all beautiful Barbie dolls. Um, Cause that's what the narcissist is after is just a, a thing to hold on to. Uh, and, and I mentioned a Barbie doll because they don't care what is in the heart. Um, they just care what the supply is. So that's what we are. We are just dolls to them. We are just dolls to them and male, female doll, whatever you want to call it. Um, and, and they feel this is mine. What can I get from it? Uh, you know, and if something bigger, brighter, better, or everybody else has something different, um, they're going to go after that. You know, um, it, it's, it's really sad that uh, when they commit to a marriage, uh, they're having you commit to them. They want to make sure you commit to them. It's not um, starting the journey in life uh, where two become one. It's like, I'm the one and you can add on to me as opposed to meshing with us. I told you in another video too, my first ex was like, you know, he wanted to be king of the castle. And I can kind of understand, you know, when, when there's times that you have to make decisions. Um, so 
you know, when there's two people, somebody has to trump the other. Um, and he said, you know, we have 51, 49. I get 49%, he gets 51 as far as uh, winning arguments or uh, making changes, like, are we going to move to a new house? Or So 51 to 49 means I will never win, ever, ever, because it's not 50 50 you know where let's compromise compromise we got to talk it out we're going to have to work it out he was always like you know he could have said 99 to 1 percent uh because that's basically what it is when there's no way you're ever winning um you know uh uh just like uh, in another video i said you know for sweetest day he's like those fishing poles uh one of those is yours as long as we're together like there's no uh true giving as long as we're together as long as i get something from you you can keep that gift and, and we never even went fishing uh you know uh and how heartfelt was that it, i it would have been nice if we did go fishing um i i don't go fishing i don't mind it i just don't so okay i will uh, appreciate that gift because now we can spend time together but it was an empty gift and that's that's where they're at he wasn't like what you know she sews should i get her a new sewing machine or some fabric he's like i don't know i like to go fishing uh she can only have this if we're together and i'm not even going to take the time to take her fishing but he's still going to go fishing um it's just to serve their purpose you know maybe he didn't want to go alone maybe he would have taken me on uh, whatever but the the gifts too are, are not um other than to uh to uh, hide some certain things that they're doing that they're cheating or to uh, uh, go through the motions like uh, society expects me to give this to you so I'm going to give it to you or I know you're going to get me something great so I'll give you a gift. Um, it's always ulterior motives. So just be aware that uh, that piece of paper, them with the new supply, their marriage, just remember that might be uh, the sign of death when they sign that marriage certificate because it's gonna unsettle them and they're unable to maintain a healthy relationship no matter what. So take care, I'll see you in the next video.